everybody. I um, have a few things to talk about today that are on my mind. First of all, Watchtower cannot hide anymore the the video about them um, getting rid of destroying records and getting rid of records. Um, the media got a hold of that, and I suspect that law enforcement got a hold of it already because um, they're considering that the person that gave that so-called talk that was leaked out indicted himself. Watchtower is so close to being investigated and gone over with a fine-tooth comb that the members that are still in there better watch out because um, they're going to find everybody in there that has done wrong. Your best bet is to just walk away from there now because uh, they certainly got the world's attention um, when that was out. Watchtower has gone after um, several YouTube channels that even showed a small clip of that video in their, in their, um, on their YouTube channel. And even if they show just a little clip of it, they're um, getting subpoenaed by Watchtower. It causes a lot of grievance, but it's too late for all that Watchtower. It's too late. Um, er so many people have gotten a hold of that video now that there is no stopping it. By shutting down YouTube channels isn't going to help. It's gone past that. So you may as well just leave those YouTube channels alone. You know, give up. Because you need to spend your time, money, and energy um, getting ready to be investigated. Because all the stink that's coming from Watchtower is permeating into the outside. And people are going to investigate and see where it's coming from. So you... Um, Better hold on to your money for that because the road is going to be hard for you for a while. Coming up soon. Uh, the YouTube channels, that isn't anything in comparison to what um, the media is going to do with it and what the authorities will do with it. So I think you... Um, should just leave those little YouTube channels alone. You know, you're, you're talking about a couple hundred people that watch those videos compared to when the media released it and said that the Jehovah's Witness probably indicted himself. Uh, they're they're going to concentrate on that, you know. <clears throat> and, you know, the only reason that people leak out things from Watchtower is because Watchtower is doing things that's wrong. And if they were, in fact, God's organization and doing things right and being truthful as they preach they are, then they wouldn't be getting in trouble for anything because they would have been honest and truthful in all things. And you can't, you can't tell people you're honest and then lie to behind their backs. You can't do it. Nobody can. Even people that are not Jehovah's Witnesses can't get away with that. It all comes back to them. So whatever you've done, Watchtower, um, watch out because it's all going to bite you in the butt. That's what I got to say about that. Um, Y'all know that I hear from people on the inside. They, uh, a couple of them have contacted me. Um, I also talked to a person that has just recently got out. And um, the people I talked to in the UK and also in the United States that are still in, they um, uh, have been telling me what the condition of the people are on the inside, and it's sad. 
the people are exhausted the people are depressed there's no joy no laughter no happiness on the inside it's all serious and gloomy you know um, people are feeling trapped and they're starting to to feel what the organization is doing to them and so they're leaving but a lot of them are waiting on the inside until the rest of their family gets ready to go and they're all gonna go together that means you're gonna even though you're hemorrhaging members now watchtower pretty soon there won't be anything left for you to rule over because all your members are gone the person I speak to in the UK sent me an email that I wanted to talk about they brought up that um, what Watchtower is doing looks a lot like Darwinism and uh, survival of the fittest kind of thing and I see the correlation I do <coughs> excuse me um, Watchtower is purging itself of weak people you know the ones that are weak they're getting rid of tossing out and in the um, July 2018 Watchtower there's an article called who is on Jehovah's side and in that article it talked about um, uh, what is it um, I got it written down um, the first Corinthians 1533 one where it talks about um, bad associations and they're encouraging Jehovah's Witnesses to um, evaluate their friends and acquaintances and if they don't seem spiritually strong to shun them and what happens in that instance is that inside the congregations the people that appear to be spiritually weak are pre-shunned and treated as if they've done something like a gross sin worthy of being disfellowshipped for even though they haven't done anything and I want to bring out that um, the Watchtower article in saying that and yeah okay so they have 1st Corinthians um, 1533 to back them up and say you should do that but if you just pick one verse like that to go by what you find yourself doing is going against other scriptures 1st Thessalonians 513 that you're supposed to encourage and lift up the weak ones in the congregation so instead of encouraging and lifting up weak ones they're deciding well we're not even going to talk to them not going to talk to them and um, those people would just leave you know if people start treating them like that they'll look around and they'll say what's going on and they'll leave you you can't you can't keep members if you treat them like that they'll leave there's no love left in the congregations or the organization there's no love left I, I've heard people say that they were even going to an assembly you know how you hear people talking and everything there's no laughter there's no happiness it's all quiet and sad and depressed and you know what in the world you, you you look at these people and how sad they are standing by a cart and they won't talk to you they won't say anything just tell you well you know we have a website and it gives you all the answers go there but they don't even carry Bibles with them anymore they might have them on a, a, a pad or a tablet or something like that they have a Bible they can look up but they're not even carrying one with them you know n there's nothing like 
having one in your hands and being able to feel it and go through it and and leave your notes in it and things that you find important makes it your personal Bible. A, a tablet or a, a pad or electronic device Bible is not the same. They're stripping things away from them. They think that they're they're more up to date and modern if they do um, electronic books and Bibles, but it's not the same. Not the same at all. But the August broadcast is going to be coming up real soon. And uh, I'll be able to do the tally then. Uh, just probably just a couple days away. I think on Monday it comes out. I think the first Monday of the month it comes out. So um, I, I'll be doing that real soon. But I want the people on the inside to know that there is life after Watchtower. The, the more people that leave, the better off you'll be because it's hard for a lot of them to adjust in the world <clears throat> because they've been isolated from it and they've been living in a fantasy for so long and it's hard to actually get out into the real world. It's overwhelming and you don't know how to react to certain things. You find that um, there are bad people in the world, just like there's bad people in religions. Uh, and if you don't know how to identify them, you can wind up in a lot of trouble. And a lot of us went through times where we were taken advantage of because we're honest people. I don't, I do not think that leaving and being shunned is anything but better. I have talked to thousands of people that have gotten out and I pretty much make it a point to pay attention to find out how they are on this subject that if you get out and you're shunned it's a very bad thing. It's not good. It's not godlike. It's not Christ-like. There's nothing good about it. But everybody I talk to that used to be a Jehovah's Witness will say they are happier out than they were in. Even though they're being shunned, they're still happier out than they were in. They, they grieve over the ones that are left on the inside. And I want to encourage everybody that is awake on the inside leave. The more of you that leave, the less control Watchtower has over the rest of them. The more that leave and lead a fulfilling life outside of Watchtower, the more that will leave. Life does get better. It, it it can be quite hard when you first get out, but it gets better. It doesn't get worse. And the, the exhaustion that you feel, the sadness that you feel, the hurt that you go through, the pain that you suffer, those kinds of things go away as soon as you leave. There's just certain things that take some adjustment to get used to on the outside because you've been fed a fantasy for so long. But if all the people that were awake on the inside would just, all of them would leave, there'd be nobody left to shun them. And Watchtower could possibly just fall overnight. 
I, I encourage everybody that's awake just to walk away. The, the way it's looking with Watchtower due to be investigated soon, I think it would be the wisest thing to do to leave. But if you do leave by yourself, I don't think that the others will be far behind. I think that they're all going to wind up leaving. As soon as the they find out that the different government agencies are going to want to investigate it. It's really close to that. They, they've said and done some terrible things that they're withholding from you. And the best thing you could do is to leave. All of us out here that have already left will help you. You won't be alone. And just like each of you are different, each of us are different and have faced different things and have gone through different things. And there's always somebody to go to for advice and help out here. So be courageous, like the assembly said, be courageous and walk away, leave them behind. They're falling. And it may not be any good to be on the inside when it falls. But you can listen or not, believe me or not, but if you did just a little bit of investigation on Watchtower, you'd see that I'm being honest. So. I'll see you in a couple of days with the with the August broadcast and those of you in Watchtower look out be alert watch what's going on in your news there's a lot of people out here that care about you your your families are waiting for you your friends are waiting for you so don't be afraid, be strong, be courageous, and leave. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye-bye.